welcome to this year's Jumpstart Read for the Record. It's a global movement helping to raise awareness around the importance of early literacy, access to high quality books, while enjoying a day of celebration and reading. It's been 16 years, and once again this year, Jumpstart's annual Read for the Record campaign brings together millions of people, adults and children alike, as they read the same book on the same day. This year, we celebrated on October 28, 2021. So no matter where you are, at home, in the classroom, in person or virtually, reading aloud together provides wonderful positive experiences that will ignite your imagination and help build a greater understanding of the world. Let's get started with this year's Read for the Record. This year's book selection for Jumpstart's Read for the Record is Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon, written by Kat Zhang and illustrated by Charlene Chua. Enjoy the story. During story time, Miss Mary reads Amy's class a book about dragons. Dragons that hoard treasure. Dragons that blow fire. Dragons that fight knights in gleaming armor. Afterward, she tells everyone to make their own dragons. Make them special, she says. Make them yours. Sam draws a dragon with enormous teeth. He crafts the wings from postage stamps. Willa sculpts a dragon with a big fat belly. She strings daisies for the tail. Amy paints a dragon with a long, thin body. It has horns like a stag and claws like an eagle. Are you sure that's a dragon? asked Sam. It doesn't look like a dragon, adds Willow. Hmm, Amy says. Maybe they're right. Amy scribbles with her pencil and doodles with her crayons. She glues beads to the paper and some to her hair. Bits of dragons emerge. Dragons with shiny green scales. Dragons with leathery wings. They look great. They look just like the dragons in Miss Mary's book. 
but none of them work. None of them feel quite right. These dragons are not the dragons Amy wanted to make. Time to clean up, says Miss Mary. I'm not done, cries Amy. The rest of the class put their dragons on the show and tell table, but there's nothing from Amy. Nothing at all. Willa and Sam come over after school, but Amy can't even smile. Oh dear, says Amy's grandma. Why the sad face? So Amy tells her. Her grandma gets a twinkle. In her eye. Come, she says. Let me tell you a story. She tells them about dragons that bring down the rain. Dragons. That are wise and just, dragons that fly without wings. Amy runs to the attic. She remembers where she got the idea from her dragon. She pulls out something red and yellow, something. With a big, fat snout and golden horns, a dragon! Gasped Sam and Willa. A dragon! Agrees Amy. Amy's grandma puts on the costume's head, and Amy puts on the tail. Together, they dance down the attic steps and roar through the house. Maybe you can bring it to school, says Sam. Please, please bring it to school, begs Willa. Says Amy. She thinks about the dragons in Miss Mary's book. She thinks about the dragons in Grandma's story. Bringing this dragon to class would be great, but. There's something missing. Something to make the dragon Amy's. After Sam and Willa go home, Amy begins to plan. She shows her sketches to her family. Will you help me? She asks. They measure out fabric and cut it into shape. They carve a cardboard frame and fasten the cloth.
Amy knots together three silk scarves. Then she adds some beads and some glitter and a little more glitter just because. Ready? asks Grandma. Amy takes a deep breath. <sighs> Ready, she says. Amy comes to school with a big paper bag. The other children gather around. Is it your dragon? asks Willa. Show us! cries Sam. Amy puts on the dragon head. She invites Willa and Sam beneath the dragon's tail. Together, they dance through the classroom and roar between the desks. Everybody cheers! Yay! Yay! Miss Mary laughs so hard. <laughs> she can't even breathe. <laughs> Amy's dragon is red and yellow. It has a big, fat snout and golden horns. It has enormous green wings and a tail of three silk scarves and beads and glitter, lots of glitter. It works splendidly. It feels just right. It is exactly the dragon Amy wanted to make. The end. The Eastern Dragon is a symbol of good luck and strength in many cultures. It usually has a long, thin body and no wings. Its horns look like stag antlers and its claws look like eagle's claws. Its body is covered in scales. Eastern dragons come in many different colors and can have a wide range of magical powers, depending on the story. Often, they are very intelligent. That sure means they're smart. Western dragons usually have four legs and one pair of big leathery wings. Like Eastern dragons, the Western dragons' bodies are covered in scales. But unlike the Eastern dragons, they often breathe fire. Stories about Western dragons tend to show them as greedy creatures that live in caves and love treasure. Their horns tend to be sharp and pointy, and their claws look like lizard claws. Here's an idea for your teacher. Have your students pull out a blank sheet of paper and come up with their own amazing, wonderful, creative 
dragon. Have fun creating, boys and girls! If you've ever wanted to make one, here's your chance. Teachers, feel free to pause this video to jot down this wonderful dragon activity. You'll need a few things as listed here, but the end result could be an amazing dragon party. Just saying. We hope you've enjoyed this year's Jumpstart Read for the Record. This story was read aloud to you by your library media specialist, Mrs. Del Rio, who reminds you to always have happy reading! <laughs>